Um, as you might figure, I'm David, and uh, this is Jim. Uh, and uh, anyway, I wanted to uh, express my thanks uh, to Archway Gallery. Uh, I've really enjoyed being in this family and uh, having my work here for the last few years. And uh, I guess it's a great honor to be able to exhibit with uh, V. Chen, who, again, I'm inspired by in, in terms of the colors and uh, the, I guess you would say, ancient uh, medium that he's working in. Again, I, I, I lived many, many years in Houston, and I love Houston, but the one thing about Houston is it's not very old. And uh, I'm a geologist by training, and so I'm, I'm, I'm very attracted to older things. To uh, and, and I guess the theme of my show in general is what I would call holy ground. What I'm looking at is in my travels, fortunately as a geologist, I can go to places like Japan and go to some of these ancient uh, sites that were maybe uh, 900 years old. Uh, again, uh, I'm in, also influenced by the the area in, in Turkey, uh, Cappadocia. Again, uh, unfortunately, there I'm sort of traveling vicariously through my daughter, who is an artist, and has come back with some wonderful images of that part of Turkey, and they sort of inspire me again to look at way that people have carved into that ancient landscape and uh, created uh, these, these wonderful natural forms. Uh, I'm working in terms of style and watercolor, the, I guess the newest thing is that, that has changed over the last uh, year or so has been working at a larger scale. Uh, again, I'm really appreciative of the class I take with, with Arthur Turner and, and the people in that class, like uh, Denise, I don't know if she's here, but to get me to thinking, working there. And uh, I think a lot of people will think of watercolor as a sort of small, sort of wishy-washy thing. And what I'm trying to show is that we can, we can be bold. Uh, with watercolor and, and work in a, a grander scale. And uh, the other thing that I guess sort of ties my work together is the flow of watercolor. That's what really attracts me to it. I most of these pieces I work wet on wet. So I'm working a la prima in the sense that I'm working with fresh pigment on wet paper. And uh, again working in combinations of watercolor and ink where I get uh, sort of magical things happen that, again, are un can be unexpected but are, are great to work with. And uh, lastly, I, I'd like to thank my wife Marjorie for the support she's given to fill up our house with a bunch of paper <laughs> and uh, live with me uh, making a big mess. Anyway, again, thank you so much for coming tonight. Yay. Uh, this year I paid a lot because you see the what I make is I trade in Japan, so what I make the shape is very really tight. Uh, I can I cannot make something for the loose shape, so that's why I, I think I want to. Do something loose, I need to paint it. So that's why I just started painting the fish every day. And now I go to the blue and white and put the red top color inside it so thick. Yeah. I can't make the feeling, feel, 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 feel to, to paint something. Else. And now I just crazy about the blue and white. Because you see that you need to go on, go on every time. But one day I can come back to the something that is like it, but the carving. Mm. You try to see the one thing is that now I have a little bit of my eyesight, I cannot pinpoint. So that's why I said, if I want to paint, I need to paint now. 
but the, my painting is a kind of decision for the 3D, not for the 2D. Because you see the paint for the, the, the pot, you need to have, because anybody going to turn and see it. So you need to have a, you did, you, so you not have what they want, a starting point, and you don't have a finish point. You need to make something that kind. So you see the, Try to learn how to paint, but uh, I'm afraid to go to learn anything because I don't understand the English. You know, not the talking, but I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just watch, look at the book I just painted. That's what I'm doing now. But I think in the future I'm going to have to do a lot of different work. Is that it? Yeah, very good. Bravo. Thank you.